Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about the method of undetermined coefficients. Now the method of undetermined coefficient helps us to calculate the particular integral. So we assume a trial solution depending upon the right hand side function that is provided to us on a differential equation. And then we put that trial solution in our differential equation. And we try to calculate the constants by solving it. And once we get the values of the constants, then we put it back in the trial solution, which gives rise to the particular integral. Now, how the trial solution is to be assumed? So depending upon the right hand side function, so if your right hand side function is some powers of m x, right? So we assume the trial solution to be a particular, to be a like this c0 plus c1x plus c2x. So it's a polynomial function till the powers of x to the power m. So even suppose if you have x square, so we will assume c0 plus c1x plus c2x square, right? And so on. So if it is x cubed, so we will take all the terms till x cubed. So similarly, if our trial solution is, if we have on the right hand side, either sine or cos, then we assume the trial solution to be the sum of sine and cos. And of course, the coefficients will be different. If we have C or D here, we'll take the coefficients to be A and B over here. They cannot be C or D, right? And similarly, the third case is when we have a product function like x to the power m into e to the power bx. So you have to make the trial solution as we will take e to the power bx and then we will multiply along with it a polynomial function till powers of x to the power m, right? So what case do we have to keep in consider while working with the method of undetermined coefficients that whenever you are working with this method then no function in the trial solution should be similar as your complementary solution if it is similar then we will multiply the trial solution with the lowest integral power of a right so you have to see when you are preparing your trial solution, none of the terms of the trial solution should be same as the complementary solution, right? If it happens, then we will multiply the trial solution with the lowest powers of x, right? And this method doesn't work when we have tangent or secant function. So this is a limitation of this method, right? Okay, so let's work out. So we have to solve d2y by dx squared minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y is equal to x squared. So how to work this? So first of all, we will calculate the complementary solution. And without going into details, we will be writing the auxiliary equation as d squared minus 5d plus 6 is equal to 0. So when we convert this into an algebraic expression, it becomes m squared minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. So we will get m equal to 2 comma 3 as our roots. So depending upon the roots, the roots are real and distinct. So the complementary solution becomes c1 e raised to power 2x plus c2 e raised to power 3x. Right? Now let us calculate the particular solution. yp. So here you can see that the right hand side function is x squared. So depending upon the right hand side function, we will prepare our trial solution. So what is the trial solution to be prepared? We will assume the trial solution to be a0 plus a1x plus a2x square, right? We will assume a polynomial function till power x square. So if this is our trial solution, we have to put it in the differential equation. So for that, we need to calculate dy by dx. So what is dy by dx? So take the derivative. So we will get a1 plus 2a2x, right? Similarly, what is d2y by dx square? d2y by dx square will be 2a2. So let us substitute all these values in the given differential equation. So what do we get from here? So we have 2a2 minus 5 times dy by dx is a1 plus 2a2x plus 6 times y. 6 times y becomes a0 plus a1x plus a2x square is equal to x. Right? Now, let us take the, rearrange the terms. So, when we rearrange the terms, we get 
2a2 minus 5a1 plus 6a0. These are all my constant terms. Then we have the coefficients of x. So the coefficients of x is minus 10a2 minus 10a2 and we get 6a1 from here and we have 6a2x square is equal to x. Right. Now compare the coefficients on both sides. So we get 6a2 is equal to 1. Then when you compare the coefficients of x on both sides, we get minus 10a2 plus 6a1 is equal to 0. And when you compare the coefficients of the constant terms on both sides, we get 2a2 minus 5a1 plus 6a0 is equal to 0. So if a2 is 1 by 6 from here, so from here we get a1 as 10 by 6 times a2 and what is 10 by 6? It is 5 by 3 times a2. So this is 5 by 3 into 1 by 6 and that comes out to be 5 by 18. Right? And we need to calculate a0 from here. So a0 is 5 by 6 a1 minus 2a2 by 6. So 2 and 6 gets cancelled and we get 1 by 3. Right? So we get 1 by 3 times a2. So let's substitute the values. So this is 5 by 6 into 5 by 18 minus 1 by 3 into a2 is 1 by 6. So quickly calculate it. And after calculations, this term comes out to be 19 by 1, 0. So, after getting the constant, so what your trial solution becomes? The trial solution becomes 19 by 108 plus A1 is 5 by 18 x plus 1 by 6 x square. So, what is the final solution? So, y is yc plus yp. So, we get c1 e raised to power 2x, c2 e raised to power 3x plus 19 by 108 plus 15, 5 by 18x plus x squared by 6. So, that comes out to be our final answer. Right? So, I hope you understood the method. So, let us try one more example on this. So, we need to solve d2 d2 plus 1 into y is equal to sin x. So from here the auxiliary equation is d2 plus d square plus 1. So when we convert this into an algebraic expression we get m square plus 1 is equal to 0 or m is equal to plus minus iota. So from here your complementary solution is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Right? Now, depending upon the uh, right hand side function, let us develop the trial solution. So, yp is, it is a sin x plus b cos x, right? But then you can see that our terms are matching with the complementary solution. So, in that case, we need to multiply the trial solution with the lowest powers of x, that is x, right? So this becomes a into x sin x plus b into x cos x. Now we need to calculate d square because we need to put the value in this in this equation. So let's first of all calculate what is y dash. So we need to apply the product rule over here. So when we apply the product rule here, what do we get? a into derivative of x. So we keep x as it is. Derivative of sin x is cos x. Then a sin x derivative of x is 1. Then we have b into x. This is minus sin x. b into x sin x. Then we have b cos x. Right. Again we need to calculate y double dash. So this is minus a into x sin x plus a cos x. 
then we have a cos sin x will become a cos x. Then we have minus into bx cos x. Then we have minus b sin x. And then we have again minus b sin. So I can simplify this expression. This is minus a into x sin x. These terms are coming twice. So this is 2 times a cos x. Then we have minus bx into cos x. And then we have 2b into sin. Right. So let's substitute it back in the differential equation. So we have minus a into x sin x plus 2a cos x minus b into x cos x minus 2 into b sin x then we have y so y is a into x sin x plus b into x cos x and this is equated to sin x right so now here we can see that ax sin x gets cancelled and bx cos x gets cancelled now, when we compare the coefficients on both ends, we will get 2a is equal to 0 and minus 2b is equal to 1. So, a comes out to be 0 and b comes out to be minus half. So, what is our trial solution then? So, what is a particular solution then in fact? a is 0, so we get x cos x divided by 2. So what is the final answer? So y is equal to c1 cos x, the complementary solution, plus c2 sin x, plus the trial solution or the particular integral comes out to be x cos x divided by e. So this becomes our final answer. Right? So I hope the method is clear now. So do try these questions. And ask me if there is any doubt regarding these questions, right? And thank you so much for listening. If you like the video, do hit the like button. Those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And please share with your known ones so that the ones who need these topics, they are able to view it. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.